Alright, what is up? This is Slow Plays, and I am back at it again with some more Dragon Ball Z Universe 2 news and updates here on the channel, guys. We have this week's free update and raid rotation. So, first thing that we need to talk about is what's actually new for this week slash, you know, period, okay? It's the Dragon Ball The Breakers Yajirobe artwork, okay? This is the exclusive pristine art. If you are not getting this art, you shouldn't even be a Dragon Ball fan. Like, what's wrong with you? But no, in all seriousness, this is uh, brand new. If I recall correctly, it's from Dragon Ball The Breakers. It's exclusive, and it is limited edition. So I have no idea if these will ever return, as I always state. All you have to do is just get 100 points achieved in Dragon Ball The Breakers uh, for their little thing that they do. You just talk to Oolong, okay? As always, make sure that you have both Dragon Ball The Breakers and Xenoverse 2 linked on the same save game sort of like i guess console it, it can't be on different consoles um you know i go over this every time i think at this point in time most of y'all are aware but just a reminder for anyone new so this started uh like three days ago and it's going to be lasting as always like half a month until september 1st which will be uh on a friday the deadline to receive these rewards will be october 1st so you do have a lot of time to do this okay so um, it's limited illustration 963 y'all can correct me if I'm wrong if this is new or not I'm pretty sure it is just because they are recently adding all the new artwork from that last update that they had with uh, Great Ape Vegeta and stuff so um, also on Xenoverse 2 oh, just, just to reiterate uh, this is you have to achieve the points in breakers not Xenoverse 2 okay if you achieve the points in Xenoverse 2 you get rewards in the breakers does that make sense it's like Whatever you get in Xenoverse 2 will transfer to the Breakers, and whatever you get in the Breakers will transfer to Xenoverse 2 in terms of the points, okay? So, um, doing the 100 points will get you, like, Gasha tickets for Season 3, Super Warrior Spirits, TP tokens, a lot of good free stuff right there, okay? And it's the same time period and everything for both games, all right? So, let's talk about this specific week's raid. Okay, this should be up right now, okay? Um, usually, I do these a day before, but because, you know, as you guys know, Kakarot had new DLC and everything. Um, you know, I was a little bit preoccupied with that. But this will be anti-God of Destruction Beerus Light Raid, okay? So there's a Light Raid. People on the Light version of the game can also participate in this. That's, this means that it's going to be above the shop area, not in the normal, usual, you know, raid area that you're used to. So um, Beerus, actually pretty cool. We got we got Battle of Gods movie update. Let's go. Not really. Um, so this will be lasting until... August 23rd. Okay, so as always, about a week. Um, like I said, it should be up today. If you don't see it today, check back tomorrow. I always say check back like a day or two after the raid has already, the, the, at least the raid period has started because, you know, people are going to be like, ah, oh, you're lying. It's not up for me. You're a liar. <laughs> so let's go over the rewards. Um, if I recall correctly, I, I skimmed over it. I did not see anything new, 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 at least from DLC 16. So. I think all this stuff is like repeat shit, but hey, I'll just go over it. If you're interested in any of it for uh, 5k damage, you'll get 50 TP medals, the street name, nickname more, uh, 15k, 50 TP medals, nickname Ragnarok, and the Beerus costume set. So the full set, the upper, lower hand, and shoes, that looks like this, okay? Um, shout outs to the Gohan Cut everybody's cack looks like this and the dude's name was ultimate god <laughs> i literally just found this on google but yeah that's what it looks like i'm pretty sure everyone and their mom already has this i don't know why they were they're giving this out whatever if you if you for whatever reason don't have this and you want just an easy unlock for it there you go just get 15k damage minimum uh 30k will be 50 tp middle street name hacha hacha mecca hacha mecca whatever that is okay um and fashionable bikini that should be this one if i recall correctly so this is kind of like they're still doing like the summer shit so um the fashionable bikini should be this one or they call it the trendy bikini i think it's just the one for the female and i think the male the the dude's version is also on uh this one as well so you can also get uh frost super soul cowardly hands are my greatest weapon so Big, big, big shout outs to um, Kat for putting this up there. It is my underhanded techniques are the most effective ones, okay? So this always boosts strength of all attacks against poisoned opponents. 
and when a charged attack hits, it poisons the opponent. Okay, that's pretty cool. Uh, and then Illustration 237, which is not new. I believe this was from DLC 14's update, which is a Bardock uh, time breaker shit or whatever. Super Saiyan 2. He's specifically Super Saiyan 2, all right? Uh, it actually looks pretty cool. If you don't have this one, then, like I said, capitalize on this and get it. Uh, and then for 50k damage, you'll get 50 TP medals. Uh, fa okay, Fashionable C Bread Bottom. That I think that should be the dude's version. Which it's just a swim, it's just swim trunks with the Goku symbol or whatever it is that's on there, the Z Turtle Hermit symbol, uh, and then Super Soul Beerus before creation. There is destruction. So I think that's actually a pretty good one, right? Um, a bit of a bit of time after the battle starts, it boosts Key Blast skills and Limit Burst is attack up and Key Auto Recovery and stamina down or whatever. Okay, that one I think is actually pretty good. Um, I saw some people saying, like, this one was, like, a, a go-to that they would use. Or maybe this one's ass. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Is this one a good Super Soul? I, I don't think I ever use this one. But, yeah, that's there. And I think that's it. Yeah, 100k nobody cares about because it's just nothing. Okay, so at minimum, get 50k. You'll get everything. Like I said, pretty good Super Soul. Uh, and then, like, you know, those costumes. Eh. This one's not very good this week. Um, like I said, mainly the new shit is this exclusive artwork for Yajirobe. So until then, they keep giving us ass raids with ass rewards. <laughs> like, I don't know what's so hard about doing a like more consistent rotation of shit. You know what I mean? Like, how is it that it's been like four years since we got the Tapion outfit? Okay, where where's the bro? Okay, the Broly raid, you know, they don't come back in terms of like the the costume for that or the wig people want the wig i know um let me know down in the comments what are what are the top things that you guys want in terms of the raids like want to return okay i just want to get a good idea of what's actually something that is like that is needed and popular among the community right now that people uh are looking for okay because they keep giving us these like shitty raids i don't understand like what is this like giving us stuff that everybody pretty much already has in terms of like the beerus costume shit like you can just like buy that pretty sure you could just buy that whatever y'all have an amazing day i'll keep you guys updated if there's anything um i think v jump did go live already so nothing for xenoverse 2 yet so like i said you know let them cook let them cook okay let them cook <laughs> if anything we'll probably see a website reveal before v jump that's that seems to be what they've been doing i don't know peace out <laughs> this is broly and you are watching slow plays make sure to subscribe or else i'll destroy your entire planet <laughs>